Hey yo, what is up knights? Aegis Rick here back with some more DFO. Now guys, I just want to take this little intro here in the video to tell you guys thanks a ton for all the support you guys gave me in my uh, content blackout. It didn't last nearly as long as I thought it would, a couple of weeks. Um, I thought it was going to be longer, but uh, everything's good now. I mean, I was people were quick to notice. I was purposefully vague on it a little bit, but... You know, was gone for a couple weeks, came back, I'm back home now, and uh, got work, so that's that's good. And so, um, again, much thanks to all you guys who supported me throughout that time. Uh, like I said, it was kind of came pretty quickly and was pretty pretty rough for a couple weeks, but uh, and stressful. So, especially those of you guys who donated, I gotta say, like it may not seem like all that much to you guys, but at the time, it was it was pretty serious. So I did cover my trip over there and back. So, uh, I didn't have to worry about that. So, again, I, I really thank you guys for that. Now, in the meantime, guys, this video is going to be another update video about uh, the Shall We Hell event. Actually, what is this event called? It was called the Hell Like Hell event, not Shall We Hell event, which is in Castle of the Dead. Now, one thing I did bring was my laptop. It was <laughs> this old laptop kept disconnecting, but I did do my hells during that uh, two weeks I was gone. And I signed in a little bit, uh, played a little bit of DFO and did the hells. So I did end up going through and every weekend I did do all my hell runs. Um, this time is not as exciting as the first uh, Shall We Hell event. Uh, I don't have anything, well I have things to report, that's why I'm making this video, but I gotta say, very disappointing run. I did the math, it's close to about, just on my night alone, 30,000 invites worth because we're talking 140 runs a day times eight days for this event period because of the weekends and About 30,000 invite words, and I really don't have much to show for it um, Kind of my saving grace throughout the whole thing was actually my blackness auto and the uh, Innis auto Which helped me kind of clear the dentist a lot faster, which is something I wasn't using before but uh, guys I'm just gonna show you guys my haul real quick uh, 79 eyes. This is not how many eyes I've got and I I just started keeping them for the past couple days because I'm trying to save up for maybe buying an epic from Grandis since that seems to be having more success than me actually getting epics that I want. But let's just go through the haul, guys. I, I want to make sure I get everything correct here. So Mistletane and the Red Bone are new. The Yin I got from a pot. Uh, all the ones across the top here, I believe, I've had before the event period. So sadly, no increase in the Magic Cataclysm or Mana Vortex set. Same thing with Tactical Leader, not making any progress there during this event. And then these two pieces of the Dark Gothic, they're old as well. Now what I have been making progress on, I think I had the um, Silent Taker Coat from before. And then I just kind of started building these two pieces uh, during the event period. New type attacker and the tall uh, the runner. This is not a set that a lot of people really consider. Uh, the Ice Shield Ladanian set, it's a light armor set. Uh, it gets overshadowed by the couple of pieces that I have here on the uh, Innis Auto, the Natural Guardian set. So this light armor set is obviously not nearly as good as this set, especially the single pieces alone. But we are getting three pieces of it, so I might as well just keep it around. Um, now this is one, I think I had the um, Netherworld shoes from before, and now I got both of these, Curtain and Night Shadow Top. These two pieces are new and um, got them during this event period, like like the past couple days. So I'm starting to build towards this set. And this is actually a really good set, uh, the Assassin's Attitude set. So we have three pieces here, three pieces here, three pieces there, and got two pieces here. Now these along the bottom here are the ones I'm closest to finishing. There are four out of five on both of them. Yeah, I got the Cunning Chameleon. I got at least four pieces of this. I got my last piece that I got was actually this shoulder right here, the Silent Chameleon set. So I got four out of those. And then actually the one I'm actually excited to trying to finish here is the Infinity Requiem. So got uh, two pieces of this Infinity Requiem. The belt and the shoes are new. So I was able to pick those up and we're just waiting for the upper armor. If we could pick that up on Elven Knight, this is actually a pretty big deal. You, generally, this is a straight up useless item for most classes that aren't plate armor. If you don't wear plate armor, this literally has no use for you, aside from just being tanky stats, maybe something you can use in PvP or something, but um, if you are one of the plate classes, what happens is you get plus three on a skill and then it has a 20% chance of reduce or like negating its cooldown so you can use it again and again. And if you get the full set effect, it actually um, gives you extra effects on your high damage skills, making you basically be able to spam it permanently. It's really awesome and it's one of those things that, especially on level night, you get a lot of benefits for um, casting. Uh, your skill is more so than just raw damage. So, uh, aside from that, guys, nothing else. These are old. Uh, these two right here had them before, and nothing new. I 
basically disassembled everything so that I could get more demon challenges to keep going in. And I did this actually... You know, that's my hole on my night, but I did this same process on all of my characters, which are max, which I think if I count it right, it's a 19 or 20. Anybody who has a medal here, I have done hells on them too, which is about 40 or so runs, and I disassembled all kinds of epics. So, sadly, my turnout of epics is not nearly as high as I wanted it to, uh, to be. Nobody really got anything that they didn't already have already. The only person that got a... Like, she has this red bone dragon, however, I got that from an epic pot during the event period, not from the actual dungeon. Same thing with this guy, I got a woo use from an epic pot, and then my, my Dark Lord, again, epic pot. The only person who got an epic that he can actually use was my Marshall here, which I actually want to show this off just as we end this video here, because I'm, I'm pretty salty, I gotta be honest with you guys. I did the math about all of the invites, if I converted into demon challenges, sold them, I, I basically... You know, this is this is just hypothetical math here, but I basically spent about a billion gold worth of hells, of hell runs during this event event period. I'm not kidding because I give 20 freebies to everybody. A whole bunch of them were dropping in dungeons, like more than 1.2 billion gold worth of hells, and I didn't get much of anything on anybody. It is. It's pretty disheartening when you think about it, right? It's like you look at other people, you hear their success, and you get a little salty. I got salty on the stream. I was like, fuck this. I don't, I don't even want to stream anymore. I'll see you guys later. So, like, uh, uh, I, trust me, when you spend that much, especially on my night, like, what, 30,000 invites, and you really don't have too much to show for it. I'm working towards some sets, but, uh, it's pretty disheartening when you save up for that long, for this event in, in particular, and you don't get much for it. But guys, we, we're going to pick up some quests here, and then we're going to jump into the Gold Dragon Tournament, because i got to show you the, the weapon I got on this guy, which I have I don't think I've mentioned yet. So why the hell do I have quests here in Viper's Desk? What, what am I doing? Okay, man, I, it seems like I, I, I really haven't played a lot of my characters in doing this, but I just wanted to go into here to show you guys one thing that I'm planning on doing with the, my... Spitfire here, which I've never played before. I'm just gonna keep talking here because I'm gonna tell you what I'm not gonna do a single thing at all because I have something planned for this guy It's called the stormy meme roller boys and let me tell you those lightnings don't stop at all until everybody's dead like This is the most broken item. Well, okay. I don't want to say broken item I just feel like for one single item that I could get there if you're a gunner you probably want this item because you don't have to do anything in, in certain dungeons when, you know, you're obviously Gold Dragon Tournament, Silver Dragon Tournament, and TOD. You want an item like this, right? Because because you don't even have to be here. I'm not even, my hands are not on the the, the keyboard at all, obviously. I, I don't have to advance anything. I don't even have to, I don't have to be in the same room. These guys are getting bodied. So uh, the Stormy Meme Roller, as it's called, Stormy Steam Roller, um, obviously it's doing this every time I get a hit. It, Cassie's lightning and it I don't even think it scales on any of your damage. It's probably one of the coolest items I picked up um, Sorry if you're a gunner and you wanted this item, but it's basically the AFK item, right? If you <laughs> I, I got really lucky I got this actually from a hell mode and now I can AFK things like TOD and things like this and It doesn't matter how strong I am I just can't die on one hit and I can AFK farm the uh, gold dragon and silver dragon and TOD dungeons with impunity right and i can just use the set item command to pick up all the powerful energies i've been picking up and then guess what we're gonna retry so or not retry since we got a quest going on but you get the idea right i'm happy about this um later when i you know actually do the quest line i'll be able to farm uh, efficiently farm the silver and gold dragon tournament so that i can buy some beads which are indeed tradable right now the quest items aren't tradable but once i get the beads those are tradable and sellable and I've gotten a very efficient character I can farm on without even having to be on the computer. So that's what my biggest haul out of this whole event probably was the Stormy Meme Roller. And um, I guess that's a consolation prize for not getting very much on my night. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully um, you guys can tell me in the comments that uh, all the luck that you guys had in your haul i trust me i have heard all kinds of stuff even martin has got he got like two pieces of cold princess in one day that kind of luck so i can only imagine what kind of luck you guys are having hopefully you guys have been doing uh or getting closer to getting that full spec of bas right so anyway you guys thanks for watching glad to be back and i will catch you knights later